you, Aurora, a Soul of No King remix. Now, I'm not going to lie. Kind of confused. Not by the fact that it's featuring nature. That I can kind of guess. It just sounds like something Aurora would do, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if she made a fucking collaboration with Mars, uh, with soil. Oh, well, I guess she's already doing nature. But I don't know. The air, the, the ozone layer. You know, I, I don't know, bro. It just sounds like an Aurora thing to do, right? What I'm more confused about is that we're putting out the remix before the actual single. Because I looked it up just because I was like, oh, I must have missed the original song. Oh, it must have been off the last album. No, this is from an upcoming album. And the remix came out first. And then I got even more confused thinking, oh, maybe the single came out. Because it has the length of the original song, 424, and the remix is 515. How do we know that the original is 424 if the album isn't fucking out? I don't get it. I don't get it. All I know. If the song is already out, then my bad. You guys know that I hate to listen to originals before the remix or covers and stuff. However, technically, since this came out first, as far as I know, of my own personal research... I don't have a problem with it because it's the artist intended, to, intended us to listen to it first, right? But if I am wrong and the song's already out, let me know and I'll react to it as soon as possible. Uh, but let's get it. Aurora, a Soul With No King remix featuring Nature. Oh, I guess I could pull up lyrics for this one. When I looked it up, I went out of my way to search up, like, without remix. I just typed a Soul With No King, Aurora. And it still only comes up with the remix stuff, so I think I should be right. But let's get it. I'm going to pull up the lyrics. Is this nature on the beat? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what instrument is nature playing? I feel like I'm about to be get told like a long ago this thing happened. And it's very important. I'm liking the build up. Okay, we got that flute. I know. get it i'm gonna fucking bitch and cry oh my god she's using vocal effect i don't give a fuck i think it sounds cool first off second off i like how she's stretching all the ends of that i don't know it just it does fit with that vibe quote unquote i was telling you like that like kind of old like oh i'm about to tell you a uh, folks tale type of thing type of music i don't know why i'm getting that vibe but just the way she's singing it is hitting um so yeah so far i'm definitely uh, interested and into it but let's see how it evolves in terms of like a song song. I know you feel me. Yeah, this is cool. Shout out nature, man. This is a great feature. Okay, 
All oh, those layers are hard. Okay, so let me rewind it because I thought I heard like a louder roar in the back, but it might have been distorted and then it became more clear, or maybe I was just tripping and then we got an actual one. Let me let me listen. Like Yeah, I guess it was just that lower like eh, but it, 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 it really come in here. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't peep the new Taylor Swift yet. She made a song called Fortnite. Unfortunately, she spelled it as actually Fortnite. Night. Unfortunate, man. If only it was like the game. <laughs> if only this was the game. I'm excited to listen to the new Taylor, though. I'm not going to react to it. I don't really react to Taylor Swift. I think I reacted to her once because she collabed with Ice Spice, and I thought that was pretty funny. Um, not that I'm an Ice Spice fan, to be honest, either. I don't listen to her music. But, um... I am a, I'm a bit of a Swifty myself, you know? <clears throat> Damn, nature's really coming in hard. Coming in. I wonder what the hell the original could be. Ooh. I really like this, you know? I was just about to compliment this experimental album, and it just continues, man. I mean, uh, I guess era. I don't know. I, I I think I've talked about this before, but I really, like, as much as I get that her first album has all those, like, big-ass songs on them, I highly prefer everything after that because of how experimental the production gets. And that's just a me thing, you know? If you prefer the older stuff, or even the stuff before this specific album, because a lot of people... Well, not a lot of people, but I've seen enough comments to realize it's a pretty big shift. I haven't heard her last album before this one yet. I've only listened to the first three, so I don't know how drastic it gets. But even if you don't like this stuff, her old stuff is still there. So that's fine. Okay? Just say, <laughs> Let me enjoy this. This is great. Oh, like this long, this song feels long as fuck though. And it's only five minutes. Shit feels like it's ten minutes. I wonder. I wonder if the original is a bit more funky. Or like poppy. I have no clue. Okay, we got a Godzilla feature too? Holy shit. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very pissed right now. It's nothing of Aurora's fault. It's my own fault for being born in the US of A. Because all these goddamn concerts are everywhere. And you know, I can't complain, right? America gets a lot of concerts. Not necessarily where I'm from. But like, for example, LA gets fucking everything. Right? I went there for one concert. I leave and they have like three more this week that I wanted to go to. They had Miku. Miku Expo, they had fucking Yasobi. I mean, they've got fucking, they got, they got so much shit, especially Japanese artists that I want to see, like Fujikaze and shit. And then obviously, 
Seattle, like, we don't get the Japanese artists or the K-pop artists uh, half the time, but, like, we'll get rappers. So that's cool. However, everything else is kind of up in the air. But what I was going to say is I can't really be mad because, like I said, we, we get a lot in America. So I can't really, you know, complain that Aurora doesn't come to America all the time. What the fuck? Sibilisi, Georgia? That can't be Georgia like America, right? Oh, wait, she's going to be in America. But once again, nowhere near me. Um, but what I was going to say is I'm looking at these random tickets. Bro, they are so fucking cheap compared to, like, the concerts that the concert I just went to. This shit, I mean, once again, it doesn't matter. Necessarily. Because I'm not going. But goddamn, bro, $66 each? That would be beautiful. But I can't go to fucking Georgia. What is this other one? Colorado? I can get VIP front of stage for $100. That would be splendid. I am in not Colorado. Why? <laughs> Look, man, it's going to happen one day. One day, I will get to see Aurora live, and it'll be beautiful. And you know what? This is actually a good thing, right? Because the longer the wait is the more beautiful the moment will be the more succulent the music will taste i don't know what i'm saying i i'm a madman i've gone mad uh let's just end the video uh th th this is why i don't like recording so late at night i got a couple of screws loose uh, i'm just i'm just gonna leave Bye.